Okay, next on is markup. Okay, so markup is a retailer buys something from a, a manufacturer or a wholesaler and they mark up the price to make a profit. Okay, um, we can't as consumers buy directly from the manufacturer or the wholesaler because they're only interested in bulk orders. So um, we have to pay the marked up price to be able to get our goods. So here's our um, formulas. Okay, you'll notice that they're very similar to the past ones for discount. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. A shop has a CD player for a sale for $449. The player cost the shop $320. What was the markup? Okay, well, just asking what was the dollar amount for the markup? So we've got markup. Okay, is going to be the um, sale price, take cost price. It's going to be $449. Take $320 is $129. Okay, therefore the markup is $129. Notice how it's really easy maths, but I'm having to communicate it, okay, because communication is a really important skill when we're doing maths. Um, sometimes it's really easy, but if you can't explain or communicate what you're doing, then um, it's really hard to follow. So let's take a look at the next question. A shop was selling a game at a markdown. Well, let's skip that. I don't want to do markdown. Um, electrical store uses a 40% markup. On large items. What is the retail price for a fridge that costs the store $840? Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick way to do this one. We could do 40% of 840 and then add it on, but the $840 is 100%, and I'm going to add on 40%. So really, I could just go skip the the in-between step and do 140%. Okay, so here we go. We've got retail price equals 140% of cost price. Okay, now we just change it into maths. Okay, so it's going to be 1.4, turning that percentage into a decimal of means times. Just fix up that four. That looks dodgy. Okay, and cost price was $840. Now, I can just do that. And that is $1,176. Okay, and therefore, the fridge costs $1,176. Okay, so really easy maths, communicated well. Next one, this one's a little bit trickier. Okay, a shop uses a 70% markup. What was the cost price of a pair of jeans that sold for $157.25? So we know that they mark it up 70%, and we know that they sold it for this amount. We need to find what the cost price was. So we're not adding on, okay? We already know how much it sold for. So let's do this. Okay, let's use our same sort of formula. Sell price, okay, how much it sold for was equal to the cost price plus 70%. Okay, and if I know that the cost price was actually 100% of the cost price plus 70%, okay, remember our trick from before where we multiplied by 100% plus 70% to make 100 and okay, so really. The sale price is the cost times 170% in this case. Okay, they had the cost price, they times it by 170 to get the sale price, which is this amount they sold it for. So if I want to find out this, okay, I need to rearrange my equation to get that over by or by itself. Okay, I'll keep it there. Let's move everything, let's move this over to the other side of the equation. 
So what's the opposite of timesing by 170%? Well, it's dividing. So I'm going to have sale price divided by 170% will give me my cost. Okay, so our sale was 157.25 divided by 1.7 will give me my cost price. Okay, and that's 157.25 divided by 1.7 is $92.50. Okay, so therefore the jeans cost $92.50 before the markup. That was the cost price. And that's markup.